Welcome to Prospect, a data curation and visualization plugin for WordPress websites. Please bookmark prospect.unc.edu. This website has all of the latest information concerning the Prospect plugin, as well as tutorial videos and a comprehensive manual. A Prospect exhibit can consist of any combination of different types of visualizations. You can configure each visualization by providing basic settings and connecting its visual features to the appropriate attributes of your template definitions. The simplest visualization is the directory. It groups records by template and lists their attributes like a spreadsheet. This visualization will show all of your records, leaving empty values blank. Click on an attribute label to sort records. Click on one or more records to select them. Open the Record Inspector to learn more about the records that have been selected. In the card visualization, every record is represented as a card with a title and a configurable inner content area. Template legends provide the background colors for each card. The legend allows you to know which attribute provides the colors for this visualization. In the Facet Browser visualization, Records are grouped together according to the values of a set of specified attributes. In the text stream visualization, each record is represented by a label which is colored according to a legend. These labels are ordered by one attribute and can be sized according to a numeric attribute. Records are grouped together by template. In the map visualizations, each record is represented by a default as a circle located according to one or more latitude-longitude coordinate pairs. These circles are colored by a legend and can be sized according to a numeric attribute. If you wish to use overlay maps that are stored on a tiling map server, you can provide data about them in the Prospect Map Library and add them to your map visualization. The pinboard visualization is similar to a map visualization, except that you provide a background graphic image. Records are represented as circles on top of the image located by an XY pixel coordinate. You can add further background image layers in the form of SVG graphic files. In a timeline visualization, records are represented on a chronological chart grouped together by template. When you define legends for date attributes, you can divide time into discrete periods, each with their own label and color. Timeline visualizations have two frames, the macro frame above and the zoom frame below. The stacked chart visualization allows you to slice the dimensions of your record data along two attribute axes. Records are first grouped by the x-axis attribute and then stacked and colored by the other attribute. Any orderable attribute value can serve these purposes text, vocabulary, tags, numbers, or dates. The network visualization represents the relationships between records visually on a large scale. The connections between records are indicated by pointer attribute values. You can represent a number of different kinds of relationships, each with their own color. Circles are colored according to the attribute legends. If you click a name, all the records that are related to it are highlighted and the links between them colored accordingly. The Facet Flow visualization allows you to show the overall distribution of attribute values, as well as the relationship between the values of different attributes. Each attribute is represented as a long horizontal bar, which is divided up into segments. The size of each segment corresponds to the number of records with this attribute. It is colored according to the attribute legend. The flows between the segments of two bars correspond to the number of records with corresponding values in both attributes. The facet flow visualization can represent the relationships between two or more attributes of text, vocabulary, number, and date data types. The multi-block map visualization allows you to explore patterns in your record data two dimensions at a time. Records are first grouped together according to the primary attribute value and are then split further by a second attribute. You can choose dynamically between several secondary attributes. Whenever you choose a new secondary attribute, Prospect recalculates the colored blocks. The colored horizontal bars in the bottom portion of the frame initially display the distribution of values for all secondary attributes. When you click on the label of a primary attribute or on a specific block, all of the secondary attribute bars are updated to show the distribution of values for records with those two attribute values. The network wheel visualization represents the relationships between records visually on a large circle. 
The connections between records are indicated by pointer attribute values. You can represent a number of different kinds of relationships, each with their own color. Circles are colored according to attribute legends. When you click a name, all of the records that are related to it are highlighted, and the links between them color accordingly. Filters can remove particular records by specifying which specific features are wanted or unwanted. You can highlight records with particular characteristics in the same way. You can view a single visualization or create two side-by-side -side parallel visualizations. This concludes the prospect overview video. Additional videos will address specific areas of prospect in detail.